Kev, how difficult is it not to have a set spot in the lineup all season? Um, yeah. What, what can I say? I mean, uh, it's not it's not fun, but like in another way, you have to take it, look at it positive. You can play with anybody and uh, just do whatever it takes to help the team win. You know. Would the goal next season to get like if, like if Victor doesn't come back, you could play with maybe Phil and, and Trev. Is that the goal next season for you to get a soft you know spot on the? Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, um, you know, we just lost, uh, so I haven't thought about it. Uh, but obviously, a, a goal would be to to find a set uh, line, you know. But um, obviously, it's 82 game season. There's playoffs coming up. I mean, and I don't think there's going to be one set the whole season all the way. You know, there has to be um, some adjustments, some changes, and then and so that's it's not bad to play with a lot of people. You know. Yeah, either one of you guys, for either, or both of you guys. You both are offensive players, obviously. You still produced very well this year. Um, can, is this, the one three one is is it still effective for you guys? Can 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 you know you guys get the most out of yourselves with the one three one? Um, what what are your thoughts on that continuing to be, or perhaps, or possibly, if there's any changes being made, system change? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, for the most part, I think it was successful. Uh, obviously, uh, there were some small adjustments uh, after the coaching change and all the kind of stuff, but we s chose to still stick with it because it's something that you know we've been comfortable with and f didn't feel like changing from one through one to one to two or whatever in midseason was going to help us. It might have been taking some time, might have hurt us more than it did. So at the time, I feel like it was the right thing to do. Uh, moving forward, uh, <clears throat> uh, I can only speak for myself personally. I would maybe like to, you know, we tried some one through two here in the playoffs uh, towards the end of the games and stuff like that when we were chasing games. And uh, for me, I think it's, uh, I think it's more fun to play a one through two. You get a little bit more aggressive in the neutral zone. You can create more turnovers uh, in terms of that. And I think we have uh, yeah, like you said, uh, a lot of offensive players that can capitalize uh, in, in, in terms of that. So, yeah, we'll see what happens moving forward. But I think, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's some options there that we maybe can do some changes. Kevin, obviously the disappointment is team wide with that playoff loss. But you ended with one goal and one assist in that playoff series. How much maybe frustration or disappointment is there for you personally with that level of production? <coughs> Yeah, a lot uh, frustration. Obviously, um, yeah, didn't do didn't do um, enough. You know, that's that's the bottom line. I had to be better. Um, didn't play um, didn't play bad. Didn't play good. You know, it was kind of between. I didn't do didn't do much. Uh, if you look at the chances, uh, um, Jimmy told me I had a lot of chances. You know, so it it was just putting him in. You know, and I. Obviously didn't, so um, yeah, it's tough, tough right now. Yeah, kind of coming back to the, the system discussion. I mean, we know you're a dynamic player, imaginative player, like to play off the rush. Do you feel like you can fully play your game and express yourself in in this type of system, or would you maybe like to see a, a little bit different setup like Juice? Yeah, I think he um, Juice uh, said the right right things. You know, it was a perfect answer. I mean, also for me, um, you know, it would be a little more fun you know a little we can create some create some uh, something on the forecheck you know right now we kind of have to break out you know they if they <coughs> i don't know in my opinion uh, like there's the 131 was um, very it's very effective when they try to go through you you know then there's turnovers happening and we can go the other way but if they're going to rim it every time chip it every time that means one guy we have to sprint back. We have to get the puck out. When there's guys coming at us with structure, and they rim it from the right side, and two guys are coming with full heat on the left side against our standing still right winger, it's not very easy to to break it out, you know. So I feel like, um, yeah, obviously it would be um, fun to try something else. Peter, you mentioned in the past that becoming this high end goal 
goal scorer is something that only happened in the NHL before. You were more of a playmaker in the past. You showed that this year. You led the team in assists, kind of shattered your previous career on assists and points. Was that a kind of effort by you, kind of purposeful, or did it just kind of fall that way for you? Uh, I think it just kind of fell that way. Um, obviously, would have loved to score even more, and uh, obviously that's kind of the player I feel like I've turned into more of a shooter maybe than a passer usually, but uh, yeah, kind of just fell into that uh, thing this year where, you know, got a lot of assists, uh, you know, uh, Kopi and Q did a good job, uh, you know, uh, shooting the puck a lot more, I feel like, and uh, uh, yeah, just uh, I think it was kind of, you know, fun for me in a way too that, you know, a uh, little pressure off my shoulders in terms of scoring, and I still felt really confident with my game throughout the season. And uh, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, you know, I don't think I did too much differently from previous years. You know, got some lucky assists, some uh, you know, uh, but it's good for the confidence too, for sure. So that's uh, something that um, I can still build on. I think. Guys, if I could ask both of you, I think it might be the same answer. Uh, I'm not looking for a preference. What did Jim Filler bring? It might be different for you guys. It might be the same. Yeah, um, a lot of intensity. I think uh, that was kind of the the first thing we we got from him uh, when he moved from assistant to head coach. Obviously, things changed, uh, but you know, intensity. I think. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, practice-wise, I think he brought a lot of good stuff. Uh, a lot of things that we've uh, asked in the in the past to to work on, uh, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, in terms of uh, coaching, obviously it's hard uh, to jump from assistant to head coach right away. So, uh, but I think it was uh, you know all positive things uh, in terms of that. Uh, that I don't know uh, much more to say about it. Yeah, I know it's hard too. No, I think the same. I think the same. Like he did a great job, you know, as assistant, jump in and a head coach. Um, also, not just that, but it's 30 games left. You know, we had a tough stretch there. Also, we were not at our best, and just to practice, uh, just the competitiveness. I think we got better at, and the the intensity. And he had so much energy, you know, uh, to give us every day. Adrian, where did you see Q's game expand this year, and how much room does he have to continue improving? What do you look at him, uh, you know, looking ahead to next year, being able to do and, and make another jump, maybe? Yeah, uh, I mean, it was he had a great season. Uh, I think uh, he showed it even last year at the end of the season how, uh, you know, he took some big steps, and you know, especially earlier in the season, I think uh, he was uh, our, I feel like our best player out there, and uh, you know, I know for myself when you're that young, it's you know. Consistency is like one of the hardest things to to bring, and I think he did a good job with that. Uh, obviously, towards the end of the season, I know he was struggling to getting maybe goals and points, but uh, we were still asking him just to do the same things he did, you know, winning battles, all that kind of stuff, using his body as much as he can. And I think he, you know, ended up uh, on a on a really good, uh, really good side. And in the playoffs, he uh, yeah was one of our better players too. So I think it's uh, I think. He has more steps to take, uh, which is great because he has, you know, huge potential. Uh, yeah, but like I said, uh, really good season from him, and I think he's gonna just keep getting better. Uh, whether it's gonna be on the wing or in the middle, we'll see. But um, you know, I'd love to to play with him. So hopefully, we can, uh, yeah, keep building that chemistry together. Can you reach out to you guys in the worlds? Um, yeah, they <laughs> usually try to reach out. Uh, same night <laughs> you lose, which <laughs> kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, they reached out. Um, I haven't really made the decision yet. We'll see what happens. But um, obviously, it's uh, it sucks to lose. So uh, it's uh, fun to get another opportunity to play a little bit more, um, have a chance to win something. And, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's uh, it would be nice to to keep playing for a little bit. So, uh, but we'll see what happens. Anything to follow up on a couple things that you said. Uh, one, as, as far as Q's performance, I mean, it was your best. Player. I mean, when the team was really trending downward, he seemed like his game was continuing to rise. Uh, just you know, his, I guess, his strength as a as a younger guy, especially during that period. And what made that period so stressful? You particularly, when I mean, we could see your body language and stuff, trying to make a difference and, and being frustrated. What do you think happened in January? I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. Uh, I feel like. <laughs> You always have 
time during the season when things aren't going to go well. Uh, obviously, ours was a little longer than <laughs> we wanted it to be. Uh, but yeah, you, I can only say that you know when things aren't going well, you know your confidence isn't there. Uh, it's hard to turn around, uh, and you know we felt like the team wasn't confident going into games. I feel like the games we lost to were, you know, games where we had the lead and ended up losing in o overtime or rebounds uh, at the at the end of the third period. So. Definitely didn't help when we felt like some games we played uh, really well and the results just didn't come for us, which was, uh, yeah, it was tough at the time because uh, it's sometimes more frustrating losing a one goal game than when you lose 5 nothing. So it's, uh, hey, yeah. Adrian, special teams decided for the series. What happened on the power play? Was it adjustments they made or you guys just couldn't execute? Uh, I didn't think we executed really well early. Um, yeah, bottom line is that it wasn't good enough. Uh, didn't help us. Uh, we have to be better in that area. Um, at the end of the series, obviously, in the last two games, I think we had two power plays. It's hard to, you know, get momentum from having two power plays in two games. Uh, but yeah, PK and power play, uh, yeah, has to be better. You know, that's that was one of the bigger factor factors why we lost uh, the series. I think. Okay. A lot of changes. Last question. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of changes likely to occur in the off season. Decisions have to be made. What are the strengths of this team from your perspective that you'd like to see built on? Um, I mean, <clears throat> in my opinion, we have everything. You know, we have um, we have skill. We have we have grit. We have. Um, I think we have the perfect team. Also, just inside the room, like we're everybody loves each other. You know, it's a it's a big family here, and um, I, I love um, you know like everything about the team to be honest that's why I signed here um, and I saw it right away when I when I got here that you know um, we have a chance to win and uh, we just have to build on it you know um, yeah and just uh, when when there's playoff time coming you know we just have to take up a notch and just and just play our best kind of